Hello everyone, welcome to a new stream. Today are the first legs of the semi-finals. Hello, Shuk. How are you? You are first indeed. The only one as well so far that I've seen in chat. How is your day? It is a... F I'm happy with the weather today at least. <laughs> not that I've gone like really that much outside, but uh, man, it's not as sweaty anymore, luckily. Today I have a very short stream for you guys because it's only going to be two matches actually. It's going to be the first legs, the first, yeah, the first legs of the semi-finals and tomorrow we'll see the returns already. Saturday no stream and Sunday of course, that's got to be the big finale. Everyone's looking for the big finale, hopefully with the family team, perhaps against Italy. We're going to see who is getting the advantage for that big finale today. Decisions will be there tomorrow, however. And most likely not today. Of course, there could be a case in which like a team gets a huge advantage today. Yo, Cola, how are you? How was your dinner? And what did you have for dinner? Uh, I think we're not going to substitute anyone, by the way. It's Yeah, they are kind of tired of it, but... This match is way too important. I think yesterday weather was fine, but the plants need rain, of course. Yeah, it's good for the plants and like for everything that needs hydration, pretty much. Poland, Italy, kind of an unexpected semi-finals. The only team that I really could expect that you could see coming in this round is Italy. We are just getting Senegal or the family team in the finals. Family team would be uh, amazing. It would be the second time in a row. Because last year the family team actually won the whole cup. And if they would do that again here today. That would be, uh, not today, Sunday. That would be insane. That would be the first team to win a Hyper Cup twice. You just got McDonald's the free. Ah. I never eat from McDonald's, but uh, when back when I did, uh, it was sometimes good. I never really called the delivery though, we just grabbed it there. But it has been like a long time ago where that I have been to McDonald's. Here with the lineups, 4 for 2 of course, the diamond, Poland, well known for their diamond, at least in FIFA. In real life I don't think they play with a diamond, but not really sure about that. And of course Italy with a 4-3-3. Hyper Cup 7 win, I don't know. So what I've been thinking of doing, but that might be like a long term thing that could be like, especially with if I get a new job, like I don't know how much time I still have. But I've gone to the feedback format of like a year or two ago and I saw that people wanted to see a Hyper Cup but for, for teams, for clubs. So I might actually do a a so-called hypo club. Uh, that sounds like a stupid pun. Actually, it's kind of a pun as well. But um, yeah, basically a hypo club, but then for club teams and perhaps with the family team as well, or just with separate players who uh, the watchers that they can choose what club they want to represent. I've been thinking about doing that, but it will not happen it will happen in the er, at the earliest in 2024 i think like i don't know if i'm gonna have enough time to manage youtube to manage a job manage a household and also like do a hypo cup in like every year hello romit i have not seen you here ever maybe welcome to the hypo cup Where I chat with people and I play against bots in FIFA. <laughs> Essentially. Well, Italy is coming here with the pass. Di Lorenzo. Unfortunately, your country, so far I know, if that's Croatia, is not in the Hyper Cup. Has never been in a Hyper Cup either, maybe. Maybe a few years ago then, but I actually don't know. Mirzajewski. 
This is definitely the hardest challenge, apart from Germany perhaps, that Poland has faced in this Hyper Cup season. I was here once, okay. Like, might be like long ago, I don't know. Like, one of the previous years, I don't know. Like, occasionally someone from Hyper who joins in. But it's mostly uh, family, friends and Cola and Bobab as well. And counterclockwise as well. Here is Poland with a crossball, Matty Cash, and we are getting a first corner, I, I believe. And it is for Poland. This one, of course, has to go to Lewandowski. Lewandowski with a tough angle. And this is easily blocked by the Italian defender. No way Bosnia made it to the quarters and Croatia didn't even make it in. Well, I don't know, man. It's kind of, yeah. It kind of depends on playstyle and usually it's just like a matter of... I don't know if that was a voice crack really, but... Usually it's also a matter of certain players that play good or not in FIFA. Oh, that's a good opportunity. Croatia is not... Like, in FIFA they are like Ok, but... Yeah. It's like... Bosnia has Aiden Fiska and I'm really good with Aiden Fiska and also Pjanic. I'm also pretty good with Pjanic. So that's why Bosnia, where I play good with Bosnia. And here is Ciro Immobile. It is, of course, Il Ciro Immobile for Italy. And that means another, or well, another. This is the first new boost for the day. I look at my boosts. All right, I didn't prepare for that actually at all. But uh, I guess it's time for a B boost then. And you get to. Um, Enjoy the f fun part for you, perhaps, Romit. <laughs> the bean boozle eating. Every goal I concede or penalty I miss is a bean boozle. Here is a brown one. I think it is chocolate pudding or something gross. Yeah, Bosnia is better in real. Uh, Croatia is better in reality. And Bosnia is like the opposite. They're like pretty bad at the moment in reality. They have a horrible form. But in uh, FIFA they are pretty decent actually, if you know how to play with them. Mm. The bean I got is pretty good actually. It's uh, chocolate, I think. Well, it's definitely not the, the dog food thing. Piotek with a high interception, that could be uh, a chance, but nobody is going deep here for Poland, and that means that, it, that the chance is pretty much wasted. In real life, Croatia is like a, a terribly good midfield, also in FIFA actually, but they just lack up front, they lack the pace, that's what I think that I lack with Croatia and FIFA, pace. and. The FIFA pace is just very important, especially if you compare it to real life. One nail for Italy. Immobile with the first goal of this semi-finals. Okay, Poland has to push right now. They're gonna play a little bit more attacking. Well, that was a terrible high block. Senior Spinazzola. At least if Italy makes it to the final, it cannot beat England. It's it cannot be a replay of the Euros. If I uh, if I need to console Cola with that, Matty Cash. Ooh, that's a good pause actually. Yeah, I don't know there's like, I think Croatia's best or like fastest player is, is Orsic, not Perisic actually, or it's like a back, that could be the case as well, maybe Borna Sosa, but I don't know. 
Mirzajewski, Moder, Moder! And that's the equalizer for Poland. Bruh. Jakub Moder. 1 1, and we are back at 0. Well, we are back at 1. And that is how to score a goal for Poland. Their midfield, of course, a lot of geniuses. The midfield does have some uh, some runs forward, apparently. The players that can go deep. Mulder with a high interception. And now we have a counter opportunity, in fact. But yeah, there's no quick player for Poland, and that's a problem. So far though, if Poland can actually not like get a, a W, I think that Italy is gonna win this match in their but uh, in their return. Poland still needs to attack, they still need that second goal. They should be going with an advantage here into the return. And otherwise it's gonna be very tough to beat Italy. Verratti. Yeah, you haven't thought about fastest. It's like not a specialty of 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 Croatia. And I know there's like Serbia has fast players. Uh, Bosnia has a fast player, or maybe even more. I know Kosovo has a fast player, maybe even more as well. I guess maybe even Montenegro has a fast player. Albania also has a quick player as well with Uzuni. But Croatia just really doesn't. Ooh, almost. Like like Poland, they're like... If you want to have a fast player, you have to play Joswiak or Timanski. And they're just... Yeah, lower level. Let's say it like that. Moder. Mirzajewski. They have... A creativity for sure and here is Lewandowski and Donnarumma with the save I'm gonna do some quick substitutions they're getting tired Jelinski and Grigowiak Jelinski has to go Timanski I don't know who is more defensive Linetti Linetti is more offensive I think Joswiak is going to play instead of Piontek. I mean, I don't know how to pronounce that name, but people say Piontek. I think somebody actually ever said Piatek as well. Like, probably some Dutch dude. Uh, Piontek is also something I've heard. There are, more, there are more names that I just don't know how to pronounce properly. Yo, Mr. Milis, how are you? Have you worked at... Uh, yeah, have you worked today? I still don't know if I should reveal where I where I and you work. Like, I'm not gonna i I'm gonna stop there pretty soon, so I guess for me it doesn't matter that much, but maybe you wanna keep it private. Lewandowski, oh that would almost be an amazing solo. A good display for Barcelona, although they are pretty convinced that he is going to score a lot of goals because otherwise they wouldn't pay like a 50 million <laughs> for Lewandowski. You're in Prague, ah, how is how is it there? Watching Hyper Cup in a Czech bar? <laughs> no, just kidding. In Czech pub. Barella. And that is an important block by Matty Cash. Locatelli. This is the final cross pass, perhaps. And Belotti is not getting it in goal. And we are going towards the second match. Which is the last match as well for today already. Yeah, that's pretty uh, strange to realize that we only have two matches. 1-1. One, one, and we are going ahead to Senegal. Versus family team. I'm gonna quickly save here. Oh, 
Oops, I have to assign the team, of course. Oh. Senegal is playing in yellow and the family team. I, I, so, I don't know if... Mr. Vidas, I know that you... I think that you have watched the uh, Football International uh, live stream with the kid reviewing f with the GOAT. Did you see the GOAT Eagles kit as well? The new GOAT Eagles kit for 2022-2023. That was like a oh, horrible. It was so strange. Skill issue. <laughs> Mr. Midas messages don't appear on my screen. Oof. Yeah, you were close with the 2-1 Pol Poland prediction. Gotta say that. Yeah, Bunasar is still injured. Sadly, we're gonna still have a very defensive midfield here with Senegal. Yeah, that awakened for the for Goat Eagles. Oh my god. It's like I, I kinda of forgot how it looked like. Maybe I should maybe I can like I, I will after this match I will put an image there. I will download an image real quick and I will put it on the screen and you get to see how it looks because it's kind of terrible. <laughs> yeah, I was like, what the F? Imagine if I'm going to visit Goat Eagles match someday and they play that kid. Here is the lineup. Sadio Mane, Kaita Balde, one of the top scorers, of course, and Ismail Sar. We go to the family team, which is controlled by a bot. And they play with Please Take Out Ingelietje, Mr. Midas, Liva Argent, Negrin Man, Counterclock, Pedro, Jardin, Bobeb, Samza, and so uh, Sambo, aka Becca, on goal. We are on the way now with the family team and Senegal. Senegal is. Probably the fiercest opponent that family team has to face. Because they first drew Switzerland, then Nigeria, and now it's Senegal. So definitely not the not like a top nation so far. And definitely also not in their group stage. Considering Greece was pretty disappointing after that, and that is a goal. Wow, so free Argent with the goal. With a header, and that's a really early goal. Oh no, I have to eat a boozle right now. It's pink. Oh, not really tasty. That is such a good header, but actually, it's deflected. I think it's gonna be an own goal. Officially, it should be an own goal here. But it's gonna be on the name of Argent. Yeah, the, the bot is not selecting you because he, the bot is just selecting whoever is the best. Best in terms of rating. Gaia. Sadio Mane. With the acceleration. Waiting for someone else to actually join in, but yeah, nobody was really coming free. Sadio Mane with high pressure. Sar. Sar with the crossbow, but that's just, I don't know, touched or something. Diop. Why is it so tough with Senegal to pass to a correct player? Because they have like no passing skill or something, no creativity from the midfield. Balde. Ghana Gaia. Gaia. Gaia with the shot and it's Kaita Balde who touches it at end. Okay, see you later, Romit, and it was uh, fun to have you here. If the character finished according to bot. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe he's... The bot's not convinced of your qualities yet, perhaps. Gaia. Please take L. This one should be for Ghana Gaia, but he doesn't. Leave it with a deep ball. Sebeli. 
or Sabali, I don't know. Mr. Midas, well, he got him. Oh, May Garryman, perhaps 11 characters would have actually finished that. Simon, hello, how are you? And yeah, Mondi. Sorry. Oh, he has an acceleration. That's something that the family team really lacks, of course. Speed. Sar with the crossbow, and it's not gonna come to any attacker from Senegal, unfortunately. Gaia. Kaita Balde. And this one is for Pekka, but it's not actually really cleared. Mane. Mane. Of course, not give him the space. And. I think we're getting a corner there. Yes, we do. That was a horrible corner. Megan, man. Of course, if he's gonna just... If he's gonna play aggressively, then Aryan can maybe pass and counter, counter it out and play it out. So they're gonna be a little bit more con conservative with defending. Sar. Mane. Mane looking for his space. Senegal in possession again. Gaia. Ghana Gaia. Diop. Diop still with the possession actually somehow. Don't ask me how we got it. Gaia again. The problem with Senegal is they are not having enough creativity from the midfield. And they cannot keep the ball possession for too long. The family team is really strong in getting it back. Let's see if Senegal can do better. Because they actually do have the quality to finish chances. They have some exceptional players. In Sadio Mane especially. But he hasn't shown much of himself on the high, on the whole Hyper Cup. Sabali. There isn't really much space. Like, look how bad the ball control of all these Senegalese players is. And now we're getting a a huge opportunity for Mr. Midas going all the way out and he actually wins a corner with that and that is 2-0 for the family team it's please take L with another header they are making goals with the head but uh, the only one who hasn't really scored so far with the head well I'm over exaggerating there but it's Bobab I have to eat another Bimboozle Another console, another conceded goal. Please take L with a good header. Oh, that's not. Is it? No, it's not even a header. I think he just touches it. Another brown one. Sar. Now there's a huge opportunity, of course. If they problem is he doesn't give it at the right moment, and Balde makes the wrong move. He goes inside, but he should have gone outside, I think. This would be the most clutch hyper <laughs> Yeah, if you look at the at the group stage, especially with that horrible fourth place that they had after two match days. Sadio Mane, this is dangerous. Sadio Mane, if he can cut inside, this should be a goal. And Sadio Mane scores for Senegal. It cannot be a clean sheet for the family team. Sadio Mane, finally a goal from him. It's not the first one, but also definitely not like he's going to be a top scorer for the Hyper Cup. Looks like that, type of, that, like that title would go to Chido Immobile or maybe Kaita Balde still. 
Sadio Mane with the goal in the 60th minute. Still need more goals though because the family team is leading. Who is going to replace counterclockwise? Ingelice. Argent, that's a dangerous player. And that's a penalty actually, and I didn't even mean to do that. Diallo makes the foul. And it's in! Argent with the goal, but that's ridiculous. I saved that. Like it was obviously was gonna shoot in the left. I was going to the left really early as well. Like a real striker, of course I've shot it in the right then. I eat a bibuzo again. Hmm. This bibuzo is not good. Touré. I think it's time to substitute now. What is going to what's going on on this match though? Diallo is gonna play on the left. I know it's like a little it's a bit of a defensive player. Kuyate in the center. Catabalde is gonna be replaced. I think Sadio Mane goes in the striker. And I wanna see Amatni Daye. And I wanna see Crepin Diata as well. FIFA itself wants family team to win, yeah. <laughs> and I don't because I want different winners sometimes as well. But yeah. FIFA rigs it. EA. Sibali. Sadio Mane. Oh, there's so much space and he misses. Of course, that's his weak foot, but I expect that he could at least get it in between the, the posts. So close, though. Sadio Mane almost with 2-3. Merriman is going to be replaced, finally, by, I think, 11 characters. Normally speaking, that would be the... No, Cola is actually going to replace him. That's a surprise, for sure. Cola is replacing Megarian Man. Argent and now we have an opportunity and it's a miss for Mr. Miles, I think This is a short ball by and that's bullshit Mr. Miles, not call Mondi actually gets it. I Didn't throw it there, bruh. I Wanted to throw it to like a back and not to an opponent Mondi Sar, and now perhaps the counter for attain the goal. Diop, what is this? He gets an injury at the moment I want to pass. No way, EA is rigging this match. Hubi. And we are getting the corner here. Diop has an injury, but we cannot substitute him anymore because the three substitutions have been used. What a bad what a bad defender there. Kulibali. Nobody to go deep as well. So you want to say you're a counter team and then and you're one free behind. You have to make goals now. And still nobody actually is there to to go to run when the ball is intercepted. Now maybe Sadio Mane? Nope. Blocked by a family team player. Mr. Milis. Liefer. All the way out to the left. Liefer with the cross ball. That's dangerous. And it's going to be over there. 
Ay, 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 ay. That's really bad for staying a goal. Please take out and Argent with two goals, actually. No goals from the strikers, but three goals that will probably be enough for the family team to qualify for the finals. We will see, though, what happens in the returns tomorrow. Sadio Mane. Let me quickly look up that stupid... Uh, well, stupid, I don't know. Uh, go ahead, Eagles. 2022-23 uh, kit. And let me see. I'm going to download an image. Uh, currently, it's the purple one that you just see there. <laughs> I don't know. This is kind of funny. Mm, let me save this picture real quick. Okay, I'm going to insert the picture. Family team on fire, exactly. Okie dokie, let me see. I'm almost, I almost have it. It's a bit big. I'm a I make it bigger actually. <laughs> there you go. It's kind of I don't know, man. I I I just don't know what I should think about this kit. I like the Covet thing because that's um that's what they chant. That's how that's like the nickname of Goat Eagles, Covet. But. But it, yeah, I don't know. It's like Croatia checkerboard pattern, but then purple and pink. I don't know if I really like that. Yeah, this is ugly. Covet. 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 Mother. No, just get in. Covet Asabi. Yes. Okay, dokie. It's just, I don't know, it's kind of strange. Alright, I'm gonna end the stream here. Tomorrow, I will be back with Italy, Poland and family team Senegal. Italy is having a good position, but that match is definitely not decided. Family team can defend if they want to have the, if they want to. Would not look bad on Darta, true, 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 that's true. Would not look bad, but on a football kit, I don't know, man. Actually, I didn't know that Timo Werner had 8 goals as well. But Timo Werner is not going to expand on it. And if Immobile makes a goal, it's pretty much over. Immobile becomes the top scorer in that case. But yeah. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, of course, leave a like and subscribe. We, hit, we recently hit 100, 100 subscribers. I don't know if I really... Uh, I don't know how to celebrate that, honestly. But it's really amazing that 100 people subscribe to a Hypercup channel. And uh, yeah... I will see you tomorrow with two matches again. Really short stream again. It's going to be the same thing for s Sunday and Monday. Monday I'm also going to stream. But then it's going to be the results of the predictions. So that's going to be a hyped stream for sure. But yeah. See you tomorrow. Bye bye.